Right, so hopefully you have a good idea of how to name alkanes at this point. We are going to flip the tables and we're going to start with the name of an alkane and we're going to learn how to draw those alkanes in a condensed structural formula. All right, so our steps for drawing alkanes are pretty simple. You're going to start with the longest chain of carbons, and because you're controlling how this is drawn, um, usually I like to put your longest chain of carbons horizontally on the paper and then branches coming off above or below that, but you're in control when you're drawing. You're going to add hydrogens to each of your carbons until your carbon has a maximum of four bonds or eight valence electrons that are shared. Then you're gonna to convert to a condensed structural formula from there. So let me show you what I'm talking about. We have pentane. Breaking this word apart, I know pent means that it is five carbons long, and ane tells me that it's all single bonds. That's a lot of information. So I'm gonna start by drawing my longest chain of carbons, which is five. So one, two, three, four, five. My second step is to add hydrogens until each of the carbons has four bonds. So this carbon has one bond, which means it'll need three hydrogens to have a total of eight. Two, four, six, eight total valence electrons. I'm going to do the same thing with all of my carbons. So this carbon already has four shared valence electrons or two bonds, so it only needs two hydrogens attached to it. Sometimes when you're very first starting out on drawing alkanes, it's helpful to draw in the full structural formula and then convert to the condensed structural formula until you start to get the hang of how many hydrogens those middle carbons are going to have. And it'll come quickly, but you might give yourself that extra step. The second, third carbon, excuse me, also has two hydrogens coming off of it, and that creates a total of eight valence electrons that are shared. Same thing with our fourth. Our very last carbon only has a single bond already to it, so it has two valence electrons, so we'll need to add three hydrogens to it to complete its octet. So in the last stage, we're going to convert to a condensed structural formula, and I know that this is kind of a new skill for us. I'm going to walk you through how to do that just so that you have it and you've heard it a couple times. So we take our carbons, and we're going to draw a box around them, and that's our first um, carbon in our condensed structural formula. So that's a carbon with three hydrogens. And we're going to do the same thing for each of our carbons. Second carbon is CH2. I'm going to do it again. Another CH2. Another CH2. And finally, a CH3 on the end. So some characteristics you may want to start to look for is if you're an N carbon, you usually have three hydrogens unless you have a branch on there and center carbons um, are going to have two hydrogens unless they have a branch coming off them as well. And I'm going to double check my work because it never hurts. Pentane, five carbons, one, two, three, four, five. And as I drew this, I only had single bonds between my carbons. We're good to go. All right, let's do some practice. Um, I'm going to do the first example because we have not drawn one with a branch coming off, but if you're feeling confident, pause me, check in with me later, see that you did it correctly. All right, so I'm going to start with our parent chain, which is butane. B-U-T tells me I have four carbons, and A-N-E tells me it's all single bonds. So let's start with that. Four carbons. So we have taken care of this portion of our structure. What we have left is 2-methyl. So because I'm drawing it, I can start left to right if I want to, just so long as that methyl group is coming off of the second carbon. So 1, 2, and we have a methyl coming off of there. Methyl is a single carbon alkyl group that has hydrogens to complete the octet. All right, so last step, or second to last step, is to fill in the hydrogens that we need. So the first carbon has only one bond, so we'll need three hydrogens to complete that octet. Now, my second carbon has one, two, three bonds, so all it needs is a single hydrogen coming down the bottom. Third carbon only has two bonds, so it'll need two hydrogens to complete the octet, and again, two, four, six, eight, I'm always double checking. That last carbon is on the end, so he'll have three hydrogens. Last step is to convert that into condensed structural formula. That's typically how you're going to have to draw structures for your quizzes and for your exams, so it's really good to get into this habit. 
Um, again, you can skip this step in purple when you start to get a little bit better at it. So the first carbon is CH3. The second carbon has a single H. We're gonna draw the branch with a bond going above or below the plane. This is about the only time when we have branches coming off of our uh, parent chain, that's about the only time you're going to draw those bond lines in a condensed structural formula. Carbon three has two hydrogens, CH2, and carbon four has three hydrogens. So this would be my condensed structural formula. All right, so our next, oh boy, there's a lot to this next one. Um, don't be intimidated if it's a really long name. Um, start with the parent chain, ignore everything else. When you can get the parent chain structure, then you can start to fill in all of those branches and take it step by step. So heptane tells us that we have an alkane, so all carbons and hydrogens, all single bonds. Hept is seven carbons. So I'm gonna start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to show you how I start to wean myself off of the full structural formula, and I start to draw with the condensed structural formula. So I'm not showing the bond lines because, as you can see, we don't have bonds unless there's a branch. All right, so we took care of heptane. Next, we're going to put um, a fluorine in the third position. So I'm going to count left to right. One, two, three. And I'm going to put a bond. I like going above, but it really it doesn't matter. Remember that fluorine is F and not FL. FL is Florida. I will mark it off every time on your exams. All right, so we took care of fluorine on the third position. And then coming off of the fourth carbon, so this would be carbon four, we have an ethyl group. Remember, F is two. So this would be CH2, CH3 for an ethyl group. So my next task is to make sure I have enough hydrogens on all of my carbons to complete octets. So this first carbon has a single bond to the second carbon. That means it needs three, one, two, three uh, hydrogens coming off of it. And I don't want to leave those stray marks on there. The second carbon is attached to the first carbon and the third carbon. So it only needs two hydrogens. The third carbon is attached to two carbons and a fluorine. So two, four, six. It only needs two more valence electrons, and we can accomplish that with a single bond to a hydrogen. Same goes for the next carbon. One, two, and I'm just going to show you what I'm thinking here. It's attached to this carbon, this carbon, and that carbon. So it only needs a single hydrogen. Carbon number five has attachments to two carbons, so it'll need two hydrogens. Same with carbon six. Carbon seven's on the end, so it only has a single bond, so it'll need three hydrogens to complete its octet. Again, if you're not ready to skip the full condensed structural formula, you should have enough time on your first quiz to be able to draw both, but you're gonna wanna practice enough so that you can start writing in condensed structural formulas.